Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? This is Dave, a.k.a. Dafferty of the No Compromise Media. If I were to ask you who is the best team, basketball team, period, who would you say? For me, I'm rolling with the Harlem Wrens. The Harlem Wrens is the best basketball team in history. All right, that's NBA history, ABA history, Rucker, um, EB, uh, EBC Classic history, all of that. There's no team better than these gentlemen right here. And as basketball heads, I'm a coach for the youth. And as a basketball coach um, and, and, and other basketball heads, if you're listening to me, we as basketball players, basketball coaches, we owe a lot to these gentlemen right here, the Harlem Wrens. The reason being is that the Harlem Wrens created a style of play that nobody was playing at one point in time in the 1920s, all right? They once won more than 80 games and went undefeated, lost no games, playing this style of basketball. This style of basketball that I'm talking about, that they've won and went undefeated in the whole season it's called the motion offense. The motion offense. The offense that the Golden State Warriors and various teams, uh, San Antonio Spurs, all of these professional teams run today. All of these AAU league teams run today. Um, all of these exposure camps um, emphasize on the, on the players to run today. Um, all of the college players in every college that runs this play, we all owe this to them. They created the motion offense and they once won a game without dribbling the basketball. They ran the motion offense all game, full court, and never dribbled the basketball and won the game. This is not my opinion. This is a fact. They have a documentary that explains and goes into this in great details in which they have um, interviews from the players that were alive at the time. Uh, and they have vintage video and things like that uh, in which they show. And it's called the Harlem. It's called on, on the Shoulders of Giants. That's what it's called. It's called On the Shoulders of Giants. And it is uh, narrated by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, all right? So again, this was the greatest team in NBA history, in ABA history, or any other um, uh, 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 organization, basketball organization um, that you can name. They were better than any team, better than the Harlem Glo Globetrotters. The Harlem Globetrotters were just um, uh, uh, house Negroes trying to get biscuits from their masters. These fellows right here, had to fight through racism. They had to fight through uh, a structure that was created to oppress them. So they had to go into these arenas and uh, play under the worst conditions, being called names, um, not being serviced properly, um, denied food and rights and things like that. Um, food and things like that being thrown, all type of objects being thrown at them from the stands. But they continue to play, not to integrate, but they continued to play because they were setting a trend for our young black youth coming up behind them. So they created the motion offense. We owe it all to them. And again, let's not forget, these guys were running the motion offense. Um, today, Bobby Knight is uh, credited for the motion offense. But how can that be? Bobby Knight was not even born when the Harlem Wrens was already grown men running the motion offense. You see, so it's a trend that seems to happen, a cycle that seems to uh, uh, occur over and over. It's a cycle. Uh, the black man creates something, but the uh, we credit the white people with it or the white people take it and claim it as their own. This was already in motion, literally motion, no puns intended. All right, so we owe it all to these gentlemen in the background, the way and the style that we play, clean basketball where everybody touches the ball, motion offense. We thank you, Harlem Wrens. Each and every one of you guys, we thank you from left to right. You deserve all of the credit and you get all of the credit. You get all of the recognition. Much appreciation to you, all recognition to you. Much love, peace be to you, peace and blessings.